Oh my god, the stupid bug is happening. Well, they weren't auto hitting. I could I could kill us. So now Mind Freeze is super surrounded. Gojuice though is gonna put in some serious work. Mind Freeze, can you get out of there? You're on Gojuice, so. Mind Freeze is the only one that's not tough. He has a robust, but. Don't worry about it. Girl, it depend on anything or is it completely random? It is random now, yeah, but it is determined when they first spawn in. Uh, if Now they've changed it that if the people come with children, they won't betray you. Mega Slaws. Um, 12 manhunting Mega Slaws. This guy could be a tough pawn, so we should take him. We should, we should check, I should say. He's 48. A pretty psychopath, 48. That's 3,300 points of Mega Slaws. Hey, hey. Alright, whatever. Beggars hope for charity. Yeah, I'm sure these Mega Slaws will give you some charity. Oh, here comes the charity. Hey, what's this? Alright, whatever. Life is pain. Oh no, I've I've done this. How could I possibly betray these poor people? What's wrong with me? This is me. The travelers have been betrayed. I'm so sorry I have done this to you. Hmm. Why makes this building larger? Go into the more traditional barracks sometime. Rare thrombos. Four thrombos. Probably beat one of them to death if they're like off on their own, you know? Especially with these weapons that can stun. All right, there is one by itself. You guys want to see this? I shouldn't do it because Cassandra's not off cooldown. <laughs> Imagine we get beat up by this thrombo. It rips off a leg or something and then Cassandra hits us. There's no reason to do this other than to see if we can. Easy. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, we actually got his spine damaged. The other one's coming to see what's going on. It was what's what's happening here? Betrayal. Good friggin' luck. A gleaming endowment. And there's a raid. Okay. Uh, approach from multiple angles. Preparing for a while. We got 28 tribal over there and 27 here. Ouch. Biggest raid yet. Over 50 raiders. 50 raiders. Group up. Let's see where they go. To work towards the auto doors. What the crap? Why is he just running after the slaves?
Yeah, I gotta get auto doors. I think that's what we'll go invest our next bit of stuff in. That's gonna help so much of this. And group one is done. Major break on center. Well, you were dying, so It'll be all right. All right, GG. Uh, let's take a look here. A grounder. Sanguine trigger happy. Oh, that'd be so good in a normal run. It's already pretty good anyway. But I'm looking for tough. I'm looking for tough. Anyone? Anyone? Tough? Nope. All right. Make your door path three wide in the middle so you get to attack three. I had it like that initially. I had the door out like that, but I don't want to actually fight them in the doorway. I want, that's why I was talking about auto doors. I want to get out there and hit them while they're hitting the walls. So it's really important that we have a lot of wall area for them to attack. That's why it's like how it is now. But I guess it's just a trade off, you know. All right. So that was the second hit. So Cassandra will be off or I mean on cooldown now. So go hit some ancient dangers. Hope we find some pawns there. There's also an ancient. Oh, yeah. I need to do the ancient complex still. We'll do those as well. And until we turn to a mining camp or something like that, I don't know actually. I've never had some one of them spawn on top of it, so not sure. It'd be kind of nice though, because then it would like repopulate that tile. Will they block offsite events? Um, like if you had this size of a ring that were all abandoned, I've never tried it. Yeah, that would be an interesting test. It stops some things from spawning there. Then presumably you could also use it to force spawn long range neural scanner sites. That'd be incredibly tedious given the radius. Yeah, yeah, the radius on those are pretty big. That would be kind of awesome though. I mean, we are going to go through a lot of ancient danger sites. So, I mean, we might get enough around this area to see what the long range mineral scanner would, would look like with it. That would be interesting. Imagine them spawning right next to it. I don't even know if they can spawn right next to it. Because usually you need that, that one gap before you can uh, have any like other settlement or whatnot. I don't know if it applies to those also. Things to test. All right, there's ancient danger. Let's go. Crystal we'll pop that open. One scyther, no, a scyther and a lancer. An excellent persona monosword, nice. Let's check this out really quick. Hunger pangs and kill focused. Uh, so it basically turns a person into a gourmand. <laughs> Ooh. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Way to go, Zippy. Way to go. Colin, That's right, one at a time, just like they do in the movies. All right, Zippy, are you a tough pawn? Are you awesome? No. <laughs> All right, um, we will pop this open. A triple rocket launcher was what was in the Hermetic crates. Well, wow. All right, uh, let's get back home and we'll come back out. But I need to go get go juice because I left some behind on accident. All right, so let them uh, recuperate a little bit. Mood's really low. We get like crap loads of Sooth Pulsers. But uh, I think most of the people that have low mood right now are also psychically deaf. So perhaps it doesn't matter. What What's what's happening with you? Cat's on a breakdown. What a jerk. What an inconvenience your life is to be right now. Sacrifice. Okay, how's our pollution going? Going pretty well, pretty well. All right, we'll get that one and then we'll get uh, maybe a set of auto doors in a couple of different places. We'll have all the jelly I could go sell really quick too. How long until it goes three a day? Uh, let's call in bulk goods. There we go. All right, uh, let's start with an auto door here. All right, so we got a set there and uh, let's just do like the corners to start with. I have a ton of plastic, so using plastic because it opens fast like steel auto doors. 
but it is not flammable and it is the highest HP door outside of a mods. Look at that nice polluted anima tree all out playthrough. Pretty much. All right, Christopher Wire here, just destroy that. Voice back infestation. Okay, another one of those ones. Okay, so last time this popped when the bags popped. Up to 17 cocoons. And there are bags that are going to pop there. So that's going to pop on its own pretty soon. Pretty soon. Free defenders. Free defenders that will eat through our walls. <laughs> but maybe for the next attack. I think it enclosed is going to pop it. So if we go try to move the waste, I think that's going to do the same thing. I guess we'll find out if the waste popping pops them or not. And then we'll go from there. This should be interesting to see the next raid get hit by that. Mechs can walk right by them. Yeah, it is weird because of the mech versus insect lore. All right. All right. That'll do, pigs. That'll do. Uh, and then I'm going to gift them some drugs because where are we at here? We're at plus 55. So let's go ahead and do that. Trade with Pierre. All right. Give the pigs some psychite tea. 300 drugs for the pigs. Uh, yeah, I want to do the jelly as a gift too. Thank you for the reminder. There we go. We got to find three more pawns in 46 days. Our joint events are coming back up in five days. The settlements to trade with are coming in back up in a little less than 10, I think. Let's check. A little less than 10. And we'll keep hitting Ancient Dangers. Anything for a tough melee cable pawn? I know I keep checking like all the traders and stuff. Like I would betray anyone for a tough pawn at the moment. As long as I can fight. Hey, that's our first dug too deep. All right. That's why I put it in that little corridor. That worked out pretty well. Nice. Gotta decide if I'm gonna use that other Zeus hammer or not. The person's gonna end up eating an extra meal a day, but then they get the kill focus thing and they just have a better weapon i don't know i gotta think about it the new zeus hammer uh it has hunger pangs so the person that equips it will basically need to eat an extra meal a day and it has kill focus which means when they kill something with it they get a mood increase so we an issue the so an extra meal normally wouldn't be an issue the problem is raids take so long to take care of because we have to go out there and, and kill little groups at a time and kite around and stuff like that that it can become a problem because, um, you know, they'll get hungrier faster. They'll break down faster. Oh, it wasn't a Zeus hammer. It was a, it was a Persona Mono Sword. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. Right, I need to redo this area. Not gonna redo the beds yet. We're gonna get some faster sleep here, higher comfort levels. What's keeping tough from moving? I ripped his legs out. So I cut, I cut him off. Sorry. Sorry. Cut his legs off because I don't want him to accidentally die in like a slave uprising or a, you know, a, a mood break or something. I wish biotech added another victory. Yes, I do. I want to finally make a crematorium. Get dark light over here and we'll set some things up in this. Hey, what are you destroying? I think friggin' not. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, the the market value now went from about 3,000 to 220. So he's just doing some wealth control. Some wealth control. Uh, Way to go, Sacra Fig. Really didn't like that. That's probably the... The EXC means that's the Executioner Sword. That's probably what they're going to sacrifice me with. But not if I take it out. I won't give them the satisfaction. Mad Tortoises. That's our next event. Okay. Oh, that's a Mass Insanity event. My bad. I was thinking that was a Manhunter. That was a Mass Insanity. Yeah. Actually, a different event than what I was originally thinking anyway. So that's Mass Insanity. Still counts as a major event. 
All right, there's a raid. Uh, it's a breach. Okay, that's our first uh, humanoid breach raid. So we basically want to rush the actual breachers and then retreat. Okay, any breach axes left? There is a breach axe somewhere. There's three more, four more, five. Oh my God. Why did you guys bring so many breach ax axes? Jesus. Is that a tough pawn? No, I don't know how you stayed up so long. Lives, you're not a tough one. Oh, he's a Neanderthal. He's uh, he's robust. Robust. All right, we got the actual breachers. These guys are gonna reset a little bit. Hello, where are you guys going? We're breaching. <laughs> Docs compared to Tassaro's nephew to a bandit. I mean, you are raiders, so that breacher AI, you know. Friendlies, what? Why? Why do we always get it when it's something that we can easily take care of? We're helping. <laughs> Wait, what if one of these are tough? Wait, they're leaving? What is this? <laughs> they just drop pot in a circle around the map and just leave. What is going on, man? Uh well, that's something I've never seen in Rimworld. You know, we say that you can play four or 5,000 hours and see new, new stuff. There you go. Friendlies just came in and left. Yeah. I guess because the breachers were bugged. They just show up. Ah, oh, you got this one. See ya. War paparazzi. They just drop in, take some pictures and leave. Oh, there's a breacher left with them too. Look at that. Now they're working, or now they're doing the way they're supposed to, but we've already killed so many of them now. I think they will actually just give up before they before they get through this. When I want to get through a wall, I shoot arrows. Let's look at him. Zero shooting skill with a normal short bow. Sometimes he's not even hitting the wall. Like literally the entire area in front of him is wall, and sometimes he's still missing. He's like hitting over here. He's standing on top of a breach axe and has one right in front of him and he's still shooting at the wall. In fact, he's accidentally shot that breach axe, but he keeps doing it. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Ambus. Ambus, don't you think you should pick up that breach axe? No, I got this. Ambus, are you sure? I got this. Ambus, we're getting real hungry out here. We're getting real hungry. Let's just leave. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. Cool. It was a tough one, guys. It was a tough one. That's what happens with breachers, though. If you it, tribal breachers, if you go out and kill everyone with a breach axe that's actually coming to your base, which they they separate, they come to your base, they start acting really weird. We've had that happen many times. And now I believe it's time for a sacrifice. All right. So to get reform points, it has to be spectacular. So what what is different? The difference between a spectacular and a satisfying execution it depends on how far the blood goes oh you see that that blood i don't know look at that awkward <laughs> well that was awkward we actually get a minus one mood for it the amount of screaming that's what made it awkward okay when this gets cleaned up 
Uh, we will then do our rituals. Hopefully get some joint events. The axe got stuck. Ugh. What does it actually say? I actually don't know that I've read the awkward one. The public execution was awkward. The speech dragged on. And when it came time to strike, the executioner slipped and barely recovered. None of it felt justified. Oh my lord. You're right. Ouch. All right. Come on, join events. Come on, come on. Oh, they like it. They like it. Unforgettable. Still no join event, though. Still no join event. All right, let's do it. Go again. Go again. Boring. Hey, Taylor. Oh, look at that magnificent hairdo, Taylor. Destruction, intellect. Oh, man. Oh, man. True Happy does nothing for us in this run. Welcome Super Bean's back. good. Undergrounder is good. Mining, construction, intellect. We actually need that. So this one could possibly be one if we don't find any tough. So, so we'll just put him as construct. And we'll let him participate in this one before we throw him in prison. All right, two more to go. Hey, another wanderer. Oh my God, we got a shiny Pokemon. We got a high mate. Oh, this is going to upset some people. A lot of people are like, man, I've just never gotten a high mate. I just really... Well, we have one and we're going to kill him. Or sell them into slavery, one or the other. All right, well, we got two joint events. And uh, this one we might turn into a slave. Because we have some construction and mining they can definitely do. Okay. And well, we're going to go sell this one before anything happens there. All right, so go to the world map. Um, These are resetting really soon. Can we wait two days? I don't want her to bond with anyone. If anyone has any, like, romantic interaction with, with them... We're going to bond with him. I don't want that. All right, we'll go ahead and enslave this guy. Yeah, it's been fun so far. It's been fun. Oh, the guinea pig incident. Oh, my God. That was insane, too. Oh, enslaving? Oh, because of our ideology, enslaving gives us points. Well, what do you know? So we can do six more rituals. I, I need to get rid of her. Let's just go dump her really quick. Wait, how much is she worth? Because 1050. All right, we'll go really quick. And when we get back, we'll reform. And we'll do six more dances. Christopher, if you fall in love with that high mate on your way over there, I'm going to be quite upset. Oh, the high mate's naked too. Come on, Christopher. Come on, don't listen to her. You don't want to sell me into slavery. Look at me. Look how naked and blue I am. No, no, demon lady. No, foul temptress. I want 300 silver. You can't make love to 300 silver. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'll show you. Uh, Christopher, settle down. Settle down. Quick, sell her. Get her out of here. 350. Well, look at that. 349. I was real close. I was real close. Oh, they're out of money. Uh, Just give, give her to them for free. For two reputation. Excellent. All right, come back home. All right. So, yeah. Let's reform and do some more festivals. So we're going to go to reform. Every time we do this, it's going to go up by two, but we don't really care. Uh, we're not going to change any of this, but what we are going to do is we are going to remove all six of the festivals and we're going to re-add them. And doing that is going to reset the cooldown. All right. So everything else is the same. Now that will reset the cooldown. We can do them again. It's cheese. It is cheese. Why were you going down there? I unrestricted you to go up there and mine. <sighs> Why are you inconveniencing me with dying? Hold on, Sim. Hold on, Sim. What?
Protect him. Play defense. Play defense. Don't let them get to those three or two. <laughs> I can count. Oh, there's another one coming. Lumberjack. Uh, this is a big one. You gotta get a double on that. Okay, mind freeze. You keep playing defense up there. Here comes some more. Get him. Oh, God, donkey. You almost got bludgeoned. <laughs> I thought you were a bug for a second. Jesus Christ. Jason Bourne? No. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Get him. I still hear some bugs attacking. Here's some more. Hey. Wow, that one. From around the outside there. Ah. Hey. Hey. Well, that was exciting. Not the good kind of exciting, though. Sim. Holy crap, Sim. You're alive. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go not dying. Okay, so now we can go back to doing the uh, the festivals. Okay. Boring. Our modest fellowship expands. Wanderer, Lin. Praise the sun. All right, we got another sacrifice here. Oh, come on, give us something good to eat. I mean, sacrifice is something good to eat. Give us something good to ascend to. I don't know. We have an 80% chance of it being a positive. And then after that positive roll, we have a 50% chance of getting a joint event. Oh, another one. We haven't gotten more than one on set in a long time. It's a friggin' child. Lover of Lumberjack. T -t tough. T -t 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 tough. What two toughs? We are about to anger these people. Uh, Tough undergrounder, psychically deaf. Doctor, crafter, cook. Okay, so Khan. Wait, wait, wait. Was Khan? No. So we do have a tough pessimist. What if pessimist double with the pessimistic genes? Probably does now. But they changed it so you can like double dip in some speed and stuff like that. So I don't know if they changed pessimist. It does now. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. All right. Well, you guys are lucky this time. Man, that sucks. Con, why? Why did you have to be unwaveringly loyal? You friggin' jerk. What a jerk being unwaveringly loyal to his people. I really don't like that addition in the game in general, though. It makes more sense, but I don't like it. All right, let's go again. Ooh, another one. I almost read that his name is Kleenex. You know what? You're Kleenex now. What's up, Kleenex? Great memory is very good. Damn, they're actually really good. He's a very possible one if we don't get any tough pawns by the time. Wait, we have, uh, we have one more, so hang on. Two more, two more. All right, one more chance here. I guess we're just going to need to go out and do lots more, um, a lot more ancient dangers. We'll leave the X there so we can remember that they're a possibility if we don't find another tough pawn. Malaxio. Welcome in. You're a slave now. All right, Christopher, take, um, the two sacrifices with you. Take the horse. 150 psychic T. That's fine. And I'm actually going to take all of the silver. This is really risky. Uh, in case we find a tech print for cataphract, which is what we're looking for. Packing a lot of money. A lot of money. Sandra's coming off cooldown like today. Hopefully Christopher gets done with uh, the trip to these two before she hits. We also really need to get an aesthetic pawn. We keep an eye out for aesthetic, even if they're not tough. Tough aesthetic would be great, but being able to trade these two empire places would be really awesome. We have a or like just a supply of mono swords and Zeus hammers whenever we wanted them. Uh, melee trainer. The, the problem melee trainer is our genes just give us like plus eight melee or something, right? So it's not a, not really a great trade off. Train some huskies. Maybe, maybe. Let's take some. Hey, they have a bionic arm. Architect arm for four. Oh man, I wish I could come back to the, this group of traders. I think I'd take it when I have, while I have the option. I'll take the architect arm. Uh, if we go to this trade area and they have the cataphract tech print that we've been looking for, I mean, I guess we could just come back home and get more stuff to trade. All right. Architect arm. All right. No tech print. No sleeves for sale. That'd be another good re reason to ally with the, or to get a trader for the empire, a knight or a dame. They seem to have, oh, inspired trade. Nice timing. Uh, they seem to have more slaves. 
How much longer until the new implants? Three days. Oh, man. Yeah, there's some slaves. Let's see. Sanguine Brawler. Brawler, Sanguine, very good. Sanguine and Recluse are basically going to cancel each other out. So, not tough, but a Brawler. New scanning, crafting, mining. I mean, maybe, maybe then. Uh, okay, we'll we'll bring them along. They're only 500. Look at that. It's crazy. They're dependent on Psykite. We don't care about that. Oh, they have a peg leg, so that's one reason why they're cheap. All right. And back home. Another infestation. And today's the day of the bugs, I guess. Oh, we have three melee blockers. We can just take care of them now. Before they spread for another event happens. I was worried about that. We have no way to really cause collision on the little ones. Ended up not mattering. So we still got the three on one, but. We have more infestations in this one than we did the dwarf run. Kind of silly. All goods. All right, it's time to go shopping. What do you mean shop? You're shopping for bulk goods? No, 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 no. We're shopping for piggies. Any tough little piggies? <gasps> flesh ball. Flesh ball. Flesh ball. It's your lucky day. You're going to become a god. Oh, geez. He's going to eat so much. Hurry right back, Christopher. I need you. Come on, Christopher. We got pigs to kidnap, my friend. How long does he have? Oh, one day left. We're going to have to do it without him. Oh, it's so risky. It's a lot of guys with guns. Risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if uh, Christopher gets back in time. If not, we'll we'll grab him before they leave. All right, let's get hyped up on go juice for this. Might be go time soon. I'm watching you, flesh ball. I'm watching you. Got some Pulp Fiction hair going on. Flesh ball, are you coming inside? Flesh ball. Get him. Yoink! <laughs> I should have never gone through that door. I should have never gone through that door. Oh, oh God! Lumberjack! Going after that meal, you're gonna get killed. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna remove his legs. So we're right about to... We're only a day away. We're only a day away. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> that went really well. Went surprisingly smoothly. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Boy, that was close. 24 Panthers. We can melee block that. Yeah, that was like as close as you can get. Trade the main guy for Chunk. Yeah, that would, that would have not been good. Uh, we can melee block this to let him in. Well, I have been on here longer than I was supposed to, so I'm going to um, wrap things up for now. And we'll come back to this in the morning and do some ascending, some ascending, making some more melee gods. So save it for anything else happens. We have much to do in the morning. Uh, maybe we'll go hit a few more ancient dangers during that cooldown. Mm -hmm.